Hey friends, Ash here with Ten Cents. Hope that you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be doing a requested video, a review of our Moffs Derby Clubhouse Blanche. This was requested by one of the Beast Mode gents. Shout out to those guys. And if you wanna become a Beast Mode gent, click the join button below or check the link in the description for the membership and perks and all that stuff. Now, before I shot this video, I went into the underworld and came back looking for the box to this bottle. I looked through, I kid you not, maybe 12 different tubs, like those big plastic tubs of fragrance boxes, trying to find the thing. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that a goblin showed up at some point and ran off with it. I can't find it. So during the presentation part, I'll just show you a picture of the box and we'll make believe like I have it. With that out of the way, let's jump into it and let's check out Derby Clubhouse Blanche. Now, in case you're unaware of this fragrance, what it is, why it would be requested, it is a clone of Creed's Silver Mountain Water, which is one of Creed's most popular fragrances for men. Now, this is not the only Armov clone of Silver Mountain Water because they've come out more recently with Club Denui Siage. Look at that, super reflective. So this, I guess you could think of as Armov's higher end clone because they put it into their Club de Nuit line, which is, I guess you would consider their, their flagship line at this point, since everybody and their mama has heard of Club de Nuit Intense Man, which is of course a clone of Aventus. And it's actually really funny. This is just kind of a quick aside, but Armoff did Club de Nuit Man. So not intense, just Club de Nuit. And that was 1 million a clone of One Million. So that made sense, right? It's a club fragrance, Club de Nuit, and they're cloning One Million, which is a really well-known club fragrance. It makes sense. Then they did Club de Nuit Intense, which is a clone of Aventus, and that just took off like gangbusters. The next one was Club de Nuit Urban Man, which is terrible. That one is like face full of acne and uh, broken voice right before you go to ask your prom date to the prom terrible. It's really bad. It was a clone of uh, Mr. Burberry, Eau de Parfum mixed with Eau de Toilette, kind of. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's an abomination. And then they did Club de Nuit Milestone, which was Millicima Imperial from Creed, and then Siage. Silver Mountain Water by Creed. So it's like Armoff was going through all kinds of different ideas. They said, let's make it a bunch of fragrances that are club fragrances. We'll clone those because it's Club de Nuit. And then they said, wait a sec, <laughs> let's do Mr. Burberry because I stayed up all night taking caffeine peels and I don't know where I am. I like how I just said pills, peels, caffeine peels. And then they said, actually, that whole Creed thing, knocking off Creed, that seems to work. Let's just do that. So yeah, Club de Nuit Siage, that's what it is. But this one, Derby Clubhouse Blanche, came first before Club de Nuit Siage. I guess before we jump into the fragrance, how it smells, how it compares to these two, let's take a quick look at that presentation. So the box looks like this. Make believe I have it. I had it at one point in time. I don't know where it is. Somebody broke into my house and all they stole was the Derby Clubhouse Blanche box. But here is a, a good look at the bottle, which I thankfully still do have. Here is the bottle though, which thankfully I do still have. On the front, we have this little metallic plaque. It says Derby Clubhouse Blanche with the size and concentration. You have the name of the house arm off right around the collar here with a frankly cheap looking stuck on little piece of leather. When you flip it around to the back, it looks like it could really easily just come undone and rip all the way around and just be off the bottle completely. You have a plain metallic spherical cap, which does click into place. Nothing on the back. On the bottom, you have a sticker and you have your batch information. Mine was made way back in 2014. And I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys. Here we go. Atomizer is okay. Probably looks better on camera than it actually is. It's kind of a, a weak mist, but it does get the job done. So like I said, Derby Clubhouse Blanche, this was the OG Silver Mountain Water clone, the OG cheap alternative from our moth. There were other Silver Mountain Water alternatives out there, things like Al Rahab Silver, but that fragrance is a, a little bit mm, cheap smelling, chintzy smelling. It's it's not great, really metallic and and just kind of frankly, not up to par. But then you've got this one that came out and, and most people thought, man, this is a great alternative. So what do I think? I will tell you guys, um, honestly, in the air, 
almost nobody's going to be able to tell the difference. Now, I know a lot of people that are really big into Creed and hate clones are not going to like that. But the fact of the matter is most anybody that smells this in the air is not going to be able to tell the difference at all. Up close, the differences do become more pronounced, but even still, it's not massive. I will say that Derby Clubhouse Blanche has more of an aquatic feel to it, slightly more of a watery undertone. It is a little more metallic, a little bit rougher around the edges. It has a slight bit of an additional, maybe we'll call it synthetic sweetness than Silver Mountain Water does. The tea, the black currant, the musk, more pronounced here in Silver Mountain Water. I mean, obviously you can pick those notes up here in the Armoff, but they shine a bit more in Silver Mountain Water. And especially into the dry down, that's where they diverge the most. In the opening and the mid, there are differences. Like I said, this one a little bit more aquatic, slightly sweeter. It's got that green metallic tinge a little bit heavier than Silver Mountain Water does, but they're still really close. But once it hits the dry down is where Silver Mountain Water kind of distinguishes itself. The musk in Silver Mountain Water smells much richer. It's more pronounced. It has more depth. It has more nuance to it. It smells like there's a little bit of that Creed ambergris sort of sparkle, you know, that gray amber feel in the base of Silver Mountain Water that you don't get in the arm off. But on the whole, they're really close. I would take the Silver Mountain Water from Creed 10 times out of 10. It's a better fragrance. Just straight up, it's a better fragrance. But, and this is a big juicy but, the Armoff from Fragrance X, as of this video, about $22. Silver Mountain Water is a little bit over 13 times more expensive. So <laughs> to put that into perspective, is Silver Mountain Water 13 times better than Derby Clubhouse Blush? The answer is no, <laughs> not even close. Because really when you break it down that way, you're saying, okay, this cost 7% the cost of this bottle. Well, this is a, an older 75 mil bottle, but you get the idea. 100 mils of this compared to 100 mils of this. But this is 7% the cost of this. And is this an amazing buy for 7% the cost of this? Yeah, it is. Now, as of this video, same website, Club de Nuit Siage is about two and a half times more expensive than Derby Clubhouse Blanche. Overall, these are both very similar, like you'd expect, it's the exact same company doing a Silver Mountain Water clone. I do have a review on this one, so if you haven't seen that, you can check that review out for more information on this one where I break it down a little bit more in detail. But I would say the main thing here between these two, if you just wanna you know, keep it really simple, is Club de Nuit Siage has better performance all the way around than Derby Clubhouse Blanche does. And that is the big drawback for this fragrance, the performance. It is mm, not great. Actually, it's it's pretty bad. At least my bottle here, which again, it's, it's a bit old nowadays. I don't have a brand new bottle of this stuff, but this bottle, you're looking at three to four hours of longevity typically. Now you can go really heavy with it and maybe, you know, get a little bit more out of it, you know, get a little more longevity, but it's not great. And in terms of projection, also not really up to par. I'd say the first 30 minutes, you know, maybe 45, if we're really pushing it, you get some decent projection. After that, it sits closer to the skin. And it's especially noticeable when you take this and spray it on one arm next to this or the original on the other, you'll notice that Derby Clubhouse starts to fade and weaken much quicker than these other two. And I think that's really what helps, especially Silver Mountain Water, distinguish itself from Derby Clubhouse Blanche. Because like I said earlier, once you hit the dry down, the Creed, you can still pick it up. It still has lots of things going on. It's still easily noticeable, but by that point, the arm off is pretty much gone. It smells kind of flat, a little bit weak, not too much going on at that point, but the Creed is still pumping. So if the performance is really important to you and you want a very strong performing version of Silver Mountain Water, but you don't want to spend Silver Mountain Water money and you still want to go arm off, 
then Club de Nuit Sillage is the one to go with. If you just want the absolute best bang for your buck and you'll kind of work around that performance issue by maybe spraying more of it on or reapplying throughout the day, then the best bet is this one. Because again, this is about 1 13th the cost from discounters of Silver Mountain Water. If we're talking retail, it's, it's an even bigger difference. Let's talk really quickly about seasons and all that stuff. Uh, essentially, whenever you'd wear Silver Mountain Water. So for a lot of people, that's gonna be spring, summer, fall, uh, more of a daytime scent, but you can wear it during the evening as well. Now, I know some people wouldn't agree with me saying fall, uh, but I think early fall, you can pull it off just as well as spring or summer. So that's why I kind of include it there. So what do I think of this fragrance overall? I think it's a steal. It is a great take on Silver Mountain Water for a cheap, cheap price. There are definitely differences, but for your layman or your laywoman, you know, your average person, they're not really gonna be able to tell too much of a difference unless they get right up close and they also have Silver Mountain Water to reference right next to it. So yeah, if you spray it on both arms and you come right up on them and you're like, hey, 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 smell this arm. Got it, got it, okay. Smell this arm, okay. Do you get any differences? If you do that, maybe, otherwise, Nobody will know. But just to drive it home, if you have the money, money is no issue, just get the Creed. Get the Silver Mountain Water. It's overall the superior product. It lasts longer, it has more uh, richness to it, more depth, more nuances to it, more to pick up on, more to enjoy. But if you want something that's darn close for an unbeatable price, then get the arm off. If money is an issue whatsoever, don't worry about it. The Armoff will, will get you 95% of the way there. All right, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. If you have this fragrance or this one, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Let me know how you think they compare to the original. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.